channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, today I have my guest. Hey, y'all. She is beautiful, talented, um, amazing friend. She's just amazing. Like, she's amazing. I love this girl so much. So, I'll let her introduce herself. Hey y'all, um, I'm a fan actually. I'm a fan of your YouTube. As you already know, I comment every time she posts on <laughs> YouTube, especially the last one. It was the funniest one, right? If you haven't watched her last you. YouTube video, go watch now. Go watch. So you can what laugh you, with what me. What you been waiting for? Um, but my name is Nishimwe Marie. In today's video, we are talking about women empowerment. So let's get started. So. Uh, before we get started, we have a few questions that we are actually going to go through. Like women empowerment means that any woman, no matter where they are, mm -hmm. they can be loud, unapologetic, have a vision, and have dreams, and be able to achieve those dreams without anything holding them back. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means for me to be woman empowerment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible. Just go for it without feeling like, oh my God, how will people view me? Mm -hmm. Or how, like, how will people, like, because don't, without be feeling limited, you know right. what I mean? Right. Because men don't feel limited. They exactly. go do whatever they, they want to do. They go straight. But for us, we're like, well, what was society yeah. say? Yeah. How does the community I live in gonna say? Like, we care too much about what somebody say, and we limit ourselves. Yeah, like for instance, so if you feel, if you strongly feel like I want to be a pilot, go for it mm -hmm. without feeling like, oh, I'll be on 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 a on, flight on, on the, the road all the time, right? You know, just. Be able to say, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can go for whatever I want to do without feeling like somebody is going to be sitting, sitting back and saying, oh, she's supposed to be at home. Who's going to take care of the husband? Yep. Who's going to take care of the uh, of the home? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? And somebody feeling disappointed. Right. Right. Like, so, that's, that's never a thing for men because I never heard a man, uh, a man say, I want to be this. And the, the yeah. mama, the sister, somebody <laughs> in the community Everybody say, saying, so how are you going to do this again? Like, exactly. They're so supportive. They're like, hey, do this. I think that's, that only happens when they say, if, if a man wants to see a stay at home dad. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like, um, what happened? Why you want to stay home? Like, don't home. you have a wife? Don't you have a, mm -hmm. which, which is. And I think men will be wonderful stay home dad it, it, too. If, yes, they, if that's if what they want to. to do. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I have been empowered by a woman. Um, I truly do believe that my sister is my biggest inspiration. And then, not to forget my mom. My mom is a queen, okay? She, I think everybody's moms are absolutely their, their, role, their role models. Mm -hmm. um, because those are, the, those are the first people we see in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the people that introduces us in the world, teaches us um, how to do things, how to, um, you know, how to maneuver ourselves into this crazy, you know man world you know so I, I truly do believe that my sister has, my sister and my mom have been my biggest inspiration my, uh, my sister uh, when she was in college she got so sick mm -hmm. so sick she was on the verge of dying literally um, but she continued to with school. Yeah, she finished. School. She needed the the blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. That's how bad it was. She was in ICU. Mm -hmm. The last room you go to when you are <laughs> saying Before goodbye you go to the to world. Life yeah, support. yeah, yeah. So seeing her come out of that situation mm -hmm. and be able to graduate on time with good grades with honors i and then you look at yourself and you're like where did i go wrong yeah exactly I like what you, what can, like, you're like what can i do mm -hmm. what can i do to like be better i would hope that somebody uh sees me and says says you know what 
because of you, I was able to. And to I'm sure this. that you're that way. Right. You are able to handle multiple things alone, and then going from since I knew you. Right. It has been a journey, right? It has yeah. been like what six years? Yeah. About six, seven I years. Think, I think about seven. I, it has been wow. Yeah. Actually, did not think of that. So for me, I, if 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 I can have, if I can inspire somebody to look even at a situation it doesn't have to be a huge thing that you do mm -hmm. it could be the youtube that i'm doing and somebody says you know what if jenny can do it oh my god like she's doing good <laughs> you know what i mean like she's trying she, she might not be the problem what do you mean you're trying yeah. let me tell you you made my family laugh sunday last sunday See, like those those are the reasons mm -hmm. why i feel like i it just I hope I've inspired somebody. I have a lot of women. You know, I'm surrounded by tons of women oh, yeah, your sisters. who oh, do wonderful things, like mm -hmm. my sisters, my friends, uh, my mentors. I have multiple mentors. Mm -hmm. They all fight through life, and I get to be the front. I get to take the front seat mm -hmm. to their life and the way they move. Like. My sister, she has multiple a job and she goes to school and then the, the fact that she can be able to do both and then mo one of the amazing women in my life is my mom. I would love to be half the woman she is. Absolutely. Like she raised me by herself. And not just me, with my many other siblings, mm -hmm. but herself since I was five. And then let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you. First of all, her mom. Okay, her mom. Just even when you see her, you 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 already connected. That's yes, how a wonderful yes, of a woman she is. And this girl, woman yeah. loves her mama. Yes. She loves oh my gosh. Yeah. You and your mom. I don't are, think she could ever do wrong in yeah. my eyes. And, and I see that and I'm like, that is like every girl need that kind of friendship mm -hmm. and relationship. She's she's powerful. Like um, not powerful in a way that she's rich or anything mm -hmm. like that, but the fact that she's able to, from where we came from, mm -hmm. she was able to fo put food in our, like, I don't remember ever going hungry, mm -hmm. right? And she was an older mom to me, like, not to my siblings, she was younger, mm -hmm. but then she encouraged us and supported us in whatever we have done in life. And then, mind you, on, with her, she was able to get an education. So there was no, there was never an excuse for me not to go especially, learn something. Especially around those times, yes, like, where it was even tough for women to get, get education. Just, yes, and then she tells me, literally, she don't know that she tells me this, but through her action, she tells me, listen, there's nothing you cannot do if you put your mind through it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's one of the amazing women and I can name others. Yes, Iran Honda. Yes, I mean, Iran Honda is uh, doing MA, such like, amazing things. You like guys, women I work community. with. Like mm -hmm. women I work with like through BYT, Bruno and Youth of Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, women I trade with, they inspire me. There's a lot of women that inspire me to become a better woman. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then another question is, is there a woman I have empowered? I hope so. Like, let right. me just say I hope so because um, a lot of things we do to us. <laughs> Give me power to me. <laughs> right, look, me. we work through life either to inspire mm -hmm. or get inspired, right? Yeah. And then I will feel like I don't have a purpose in life yeah. if I don't inspire another person, especially a woman, mm -hmm. knowing how hard life can be for a woman right right mm -hmm. so i hope somebody watch what i have done in the past and watch what i'm doing right now and they feel like they can do the same if not better right you are such an inspiration thank you I'm not gonna lie. especially to our generation to uh to the youth uh especially to our burundian youth and we have a lot of youth on the come up too like women especially yeah. women who are younger than us who mm. are coming up and we have to support them exactly so imagine right? them watching you or watching me because i also went to school so right somebody somebody just can just take a look at me and say hey so and so went to school they did this they measured in math they measured in, a, in business they measured in, business in, and engineer. in engineering and they were the women mm -hmm. i can do it 
Be yeah, so I don't think we we'll ever have enough women empowerment. Mm -hmm. There's need for more women to come up, right? Yes. Like we have more to pull, like especially with Burundians here in the United States. Uh, for women, we have multiple, but I don't know if we know each other. I don't know if we run in the same society. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the same crowd, right? Because you have the girls in Kentucky teaching how to learn Kirundi. You have Annie with uh, Reunion Till Five mm -hmm. Seven. And you have many other women who do different things, but they still need more women to come up, right? Right, to take up space to be who they need to be, we will never have enough mm -hmm. at all. I don't think that's, that would be like a fair question to say yes, it's not. So I truly do feel like we don't have enough uh, women empowerment in our community. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I feel like when women do well or accomplish something um, in their lives, I feel like most most of other women think of that a specific person as as if they're they're above them. You know what I mean? Instead of saying, looking at them and saying, "Oh my gosh, she did it! Congratulations! How did you do it? What took you to get to where you are?" Mm -hmm. um, we we tend to tear them apart. You know what I mean? Right. We uh, love to tear each other apart. That's yeah, true. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. So um, the thing is, you don't know. You don't even know the story behind her accomplishment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, you don't know her nights, uh, what she went through, the tears, the stress, the depression, the the anxieties. But you, all you see is she is she's a, a, um, a master's degree holder she's a phd degree holder and now you, you, she thinks that she's, she's better. a business owner right right she's a doctor mm -hmm. so now you think like oh she thinks she's better than me so i'm not gonna support right there's so much that goes into somebody's success right right it's not a straight and narrow point mm -hmm. you don't just go from point a to point b mm -hmm. you go from a to z and all the letters in between z takes you like around all of places, <laughs> right and then when I think about like somebody's success, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to congratulate them first to right. say, hey, congrats. Exactly. You did an amazing job because there's so much that goes into somebody's success, whether it's a man or a woman, but it's a lot more that goes into a woman's success because having the dream first, mm -hmm. starting it, the journey itself is yeah. hard right mm -hmm. being in the middle of it when you want to quit and nobody really knows that you want to quit Absolutely. but you know you want to quit that's <laughs> another thing so being able like word of encouragement it's one of the things i could say hey if you know a woman in your life who's doing an amazing thing mm -hmm. right you either follow her on instagram facebook whatever it is mm -hmm. say hey i admire your work right. that takes a person from where they wanted to quit to wanting to push themselves to even what's a woman's place <laughs> the kitchen what what do you mean what's a woman's place like, i know you know it what's a woman's place that's to me there's no such a thing as a woman's place right there, there is because there are some things that are seem like are are, are needs to a human mm -hmm. you need to eat you should be able to prepare food and you need to live in a clean space you need to exactly it's that's a, like a necessity to a person right you should be able to wear a clean clothes exactly right so why does it require men to do those things but not a i mean a woman to do those things but not a not, man but not a man exactly right like you have two hands i have two hands now, if I enjoy cooking, if I enjoy being in a kitchen, let me take that. Mm -hmm. Let me be the one to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I enjoy cleaning, I'll do it. I'm not saying just if, if you, if you're a woman and you enjoy doing those things, by all means do it. But I don't, I, I feel like you shouldn't do things simply because you feel like if I don't do it, the society is going to look, look down on me. 
Right. Yeah. And that's what women empowerment is. It's right. to be able to go above and beyond mm -hmm. of our limit, the limitation that society mm -hmm. has put on us and go farther, right? Mm -hmm. And then it also benefits men to know how to leave. Exactly. Right? Like mm -hmm. things such as those, especially being in a kitchen yeah. as a woman place. I think th a lot of things like there's no such thing as a woman place, mm -hmm. but more so as a, our place. I had the idea that society has wired us to think household stuff mm -hmm. is for women and never for men. And you will never guess how many men don't know how to cook. Like they never learn how to cook Absolutely. because their mm -hmm. parents or their family have enabled, or society period has enabled them to go for so many lives without knowing yes. how to do any of yes. that. Uh, just for a disclaimer, we're not saying be a lazy woman, no. be a lazy <laughs> housewife or whatever. Um, help out. That's what, that's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Help out where where um where the your significant other cannot help themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, if if I'm a stay at home mom and my husband works, it's I'll, gonna be a different story. Yeah, it's a different story. Right? I'll clean, I'll cook, I'll do things. But we, if we both are working, let's help each other because. So I am so blessed to have a husband that literally understands me so much and that goes into because uh, that goes into the fact that i found him living by himself first mm -hmm. and um he also had like women that didn't just teach him to you know to rely on women on a woman on everything mm -hmm. so if i come home and i feel like hey I, today i'm just not gonna cook i'm sorry i won't cook right and he he knows like he will come in the kitchen and cook um, if I feel like I, I can't, I don't want to wash dishes, he comes and wash dishes. It's fine. And and that's how we live. That's how we chose to live. Mm -hmm. And if he ever needs me, I'm there for those, for whatever he needs me on, right. for. You know what I mean? Because you might get sick and he exactly. has to yeah. sick and that's and correct. And he's the one to take care. We have to rely on each other. You know, we can't just rely on one person. You would love to say always 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 be kind to yourself like as a woman we go through a lot and we are our worst criticizers mm -hmm. right we like to pick ourselves apart yes. really just appreciate your journey appreciate you as you are appreciate your strength appreciate your weaknesses there's no room that you cannot enter once you believe that, once you believe that you can knock on any door and it will be open to you, you'll go far. You'll Absolutely. go really, really far in life. Life is better when you go with others, mm -hmm. right? Like I would say, because I have a team of women behind me, my support system right. is full of women and I feel like life is so much easier that way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the energy you put out there. It's the, the same energy you're gonna get received back, mm -hmm. you know. If you choose to be bitter, um, that's exactly what you're gonna get back in, in yeah. return. You're not gonna be happy, you might be bitter, making somebody else, uh, uh making another woman feel bad, mm -hmm. but really, what's it doing deep inside of you? It's tearing you apart. Be aware of your um, yourself, be mm -hmm. aware of the energy you project, you project to the world. Um, if you truly, truly, truly uh, want to support somebody, feel free to do it. Mm -hmm. Feel proud to do it. You know, it's okay to be inspired. It's right. okay. Just because somebody's throwing something in your face, in your face, they're not throwing it in your face. They're not, if, if somebody gets a bachelor's degree, they're not really saying, I'm better, I'm, I'm, I'm better than you. Yeah. You're the last person. Honestly, like when I was going through school, mm -hmm. people like people were the last person in my mind. 
Right, exactly. Like, you're the last you're the person last thing in their I'm mind. thinking of mm -hmm. when I'm going through my journey to success. Yeah, because you right? see the finish line and mm -hmm. you all you you're focused on is that finish line. You're not thinking, Oh, if I if I do this, if I accomplish this, I'm better than that the other person. Mm -hmm. And you have to think we are somebody's watching. Always okay. Always, Always somebody's watching. Mm -hmm. So that means um just because you don't have what somebody else has accomplished doesn't mean somebody's not inspired by you. Mm -hmm. It could be the simplest thing. Like the way you do your makeup. Somebody likes the way you do your makeup. Mm -hmm. Somebody likes the way you do your hair. Somebody likes the way you, you dress yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? You could be a degree holder still don't know how to do makeup. Mm -hmm. So as long as you are... <laughs> As long as you're aware that um, somebody is watching me, somebody is, you know, I'm watching somebody, that the same energy goes around. Mm -hmm. Whatever box, society, especially our community, mm -hmm. we like to put women in, in boxes, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. think you fit in that box that you never come out. Mm -hmm. Come out. Go out of that box. There's yeah. the word Do waiting that for you. Like make people uncomfortable. Yes. Or make make you uncomfortable. Me, yeah, make you right? uncomfortable. Like, I'm learning tech okay. right now and um I I never saw myself as a coder, but the possibility of becoming one is so scary to me mm -hmm. that I wish like I'm like, should I stop? Should I mm -hmm. not? But I know like that vision is out there now and I have yeah. to follow through. You, you have to just right. take a rip of it, mm -hmm. you know? When I started YouTube, I was literally like, uh, there's no way. The the fear, the fear you you face, like, okay, people are going to view me like this. My, you know, people they're gonna are going to think I'm this yeah. based on what I put they're out. They're not going to yeah. agree with my, you know, my point of view. They're mm -hmm. not going to... But you know, when the moment you sit down and say, you know what, I'm doing this for myself. I'm not doing this for anybody else. Is the moment you literally are born. Yeah. Like you, you are born. You, you are brand new. You. With everything I have done so far, mm -hmm. fear was there. Absolutely. And there's always and gonna be fear at the start of day. any journey, mm -hmm. anything you decide. So, you know, power through so that ends the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed our today's topic um so with that being said thank you so much for stopping by uh, thank you for having me yeah thank you i really enjoyed filming this thank you so much for watching i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you, thank you.